All right, it's been a minute since I did one of these uh, Planetside 2 building callout videos. Um, and this time I'm going to cover a few different building types, but each of them is much simpler and has a lot fewer uh, callouts to remember per building. Um, the previous buildings I covered, the, uh, the powerhouse and the triple stack, are kind of, they have a lot of different parts in them. I'm going to cover a few buildings in this video, but they're all pretty simple on their own. Uh, the first one that I'm standing next to right here with my waypoint on it is called a chevron, uh, because it looks like an L, but there's a lot of buildings that look like L, so um, this one is named chevron because it is kind of a chevron shape, just kind of rotated to various angles depending on where it's placed on the map. And if we go ahead and take a look, this is probably the easiest building in terms of callouts because there's basically two of them. You have two sides of this building that are determined by the doors, basically. This side that I'm looking at right now is long and that's long door. The door I just came in over here is short door and this side of the building is short. Uh, the easiest way to remember this is that if you're looking into this building from the outside, if you're looking through short door, you have a short sight line because you're staring into this wall. Whereas if I head to the other side of the building, all the way over here, if you're looking in long door, you have a longer sight line because you can see all the way down to the other end of the building from here. So this one's pretty easy. You just have short and long and uh, that's pretty much it for the chevron. The next building, which conveniently there's one of at the space, is the double stack, which I'm driving over to right now. This building right here. Pull it up on the map just so you can see what that looks like. It's the one I'm standing next to right now. This is a double stack. This one has a few more callouts, but it's still pretty simple. Um, it has two floors, so the bottom floor is lower. The top floor is upper. You have one staircase that's just stairs. And this little area underneath the like overhang of the top floor is cubby. Um, and the doors would just be lower door and upper door because there's only one door on each floor. So we have the upper floor, upper door, stairs. Lower floor, cubby, and lower door. And that's about it for this building. And I'm going to cut the video here and see you at the next building because there's not one at this base. All right, and here we are. I found a base that has the third type of building I want to cover, which is the spiral. Uh, it's this one here that I have the waypoint on. And I'm standing over here by it right now. Uh, this is another one, again, that's relatively simple. Uh, you have the lower floor, you have the stairs that go up, and then you have the upper floor. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I did notice that actually the doors in this building don't have callouts on the callout diagram that I've been referencing for all of these buildings. Um, so I don't know if we're actually going to use these, but uh, just going off of how door callouts work for other buildings, uh, I'm going to number these, assuming you are generally looking at them from inside the building on the stairs. So if you're in the stairs, there are two doors on the upper floor, and from left to right, we're going to go upper one and upper two. And then downstairs, on lower, again, there are two doors over here. So if you were in the stairs from left to right, this one is lower one, and that door is lower two. Again, I don't know if those door callouts are going to stick or not. I just kind of came up with this while I was making this video. So at the very least, we have lower floor, stairs, and upper floor. And that's about it for the spiral, and that's it for this video. Bye.